Hello everyone, this is the Dark Soul 5492 and this is my bootleg specials number 3. But before I show you all of the bootlegs that I have newly bought, first I'm going to show you a paint marker that I just bought on a local store. And this is a painty, zig painty, metallic color paint. This is a metallic gold and metallic red. What I like about this paint marker is that it has it has a plastic tip. There, it's already focused. I haven't used it yet and it's still brand new. I'm excited to use it and I'm thinking of using this to my HMM gun sniper I had already bought a metallic silver for this and it is really great oh yeah by the way I used the metallic silver on the arc Gundam painting the side of the fangs and another thing that I have bought in the local store is that this a dice I don't know what came inside my head but I bought this I got a little bit of board here so I think I'm going to play with the dice yeah. now let's proceed to the bootlegs first of all I have bought is the 1 over 144 high grade TT Hongli Archer Gundam or the GN Archer I've been thinking of buying this kit for a very long time now, but it just just slips off out of my mind. I think I'll be building this kit after finishing the gun sniper. Next is the 1 over 144 higher grade Arius by TT Hongli also. I bought this kit because it is a pair with the Gen Archer so that's why alright I remember that's why I'm not having I'm having a second thought of buying the Archer because here in the local store they didn't have any stock of the Arius well that's it for the 144 kits Next is the last one of the things that I have bought. This one is a really big box. And it is the 1 over 100 Master Grade by TJ Hongli High New Gundam. Let's zoom it in a little. Oops. Too much. Okay, there. As you can see, that is a really big box that's why I positioned my camera like this so that I can focus the box right a big fit to the camera I have, uh, before I bought this kit I have been watching some some reviews of this and they say it really sucks I don't know why I look at their web page and saw that they posted some wrong details to it that uh, some parts are very brittle and can easily snap off also the plastic is really bad I think and it uh, it has a it has a plastic that that is really thin that it might break easily well I did have some double thinking about buying this kit but I still bought it anyway when I checked inside inside the box 
I was su surprised that it was totally different from what they said. I look at the plastic quality and I find it really thick, not thin, but thick. I don't know why, I think TT only reproduced it again and changed the plastic quality to this kit. I already opened this and the manual is already outside, already checked it. Before I rearrange the parts inside, I check the runners first. Well, they got two things right on the review online that this part is nay is um what you call that it has a letter letter R there but in the manual it's K so what I did is I used a masking tape and put and covered the R letter and changed it to K so that when I when I build this kit I wouldn't have any problems looking for the runner I'll just show you some sample on what is inside this kit oh it's also heavy oops scary and there one sample is this the white piece it's really shiny something's getting inside my head that I shouldn't paint this because it does look like it has been already top coated by clear paint the quality is not that great but turned out to be really thick and I'll show you the ones that they have an error on naming it so you can see there it has a lab label of R but I change it to K by using a masking tape well I'm really excited to build this kit and I'd be thinking of building this kit after my summer class is already done well that's it for today and I'll see you next time